Hello everyone, welcome back. This is part two, and we are just coming out of our child's pose. We've done a nice stretch, stretch the whole body out, so we're ready to go. All right, so we're gonna do a nice little vinyasa from here, starting with our puppy. We're gonna do some stuff, uh, low lunges, and we're gonna work our way up and come back down. All right, so if everybody's ready, let's prepare for our little puppy. <clears throat> from table, take a breath. On the exhale, rock back, slide forward onto the forearms, forehead on the floor. This is one version, the full version, your arms would be straight, elbows off the floor, and forehead on the floor, whichever one feels good for you, little puppy. This is a wonderful stretch for your upper back and shoulders. Child's pose, next exhale. Scooch back. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Nice, long, smooth breath. Take it easy, do what you can. Exhale, come back up to table. Preparing for left low lunge on the exhale. Left low lunge. Now, Ankle to knee, ankle to knee, knee to hip, uh, being aware of our alignment, nice and straight, taking care of those knees, low lunge. I'll go a little bit sideways here so you can see me. Low lunge warrior, on the next exhale, come up. Focusing on your balance, nice and straight, low lunge warrior. From here, I want you just to move your left foot out a little bit, just so that your ankle and knee are a little bit on an angle. Take a breath, exhale, lean forward. Looking at the foot, arms are shoulder height. One more breath. Exhale, low lunge warrior, back foot back. Back it, so it's lined up under the knee. Preparing for side bend. Next exhale, right hand on the floor beside the right knee, left arm stays up. From here, prepare for downward dog, exhale. Finding that place of balance and comfort. Tail is up high, back is straight, head is hanging down. One more breath. From here, let's walk the dog. Inhale, bend the right knee. On the exhale, switch. Your body will rock slightly. This is a lovely calf stretch, walking the dog. From here, let's walk ourselves up to mountain. Come up nice and slow. Reverse the blood flow so you don't get dizzy. Up to mountain, all right. Tatizata, roll the shoulders out. Shake it all out, shake the legs up quickly if you need to. Into mountain, feet are nice and anchored to the floor, hip distance apart. Let's take a few breaths into our mountain. Relax, breathe. Inhale completely, always try and suspend your breath. Just hold it for a few seconds and exhale fully. Try to pay attention to the breath. Every breath you take is long and smooth. Let's inhale up, exhale. Inhale into a back bend. Preparing for rag doll. On the exhale, soften the knees. Hinging up the hips, come down. So you always move on the exhale. So I'll try and cue you when I say the next exhale or your next exhale is what I want you to move. So let's just hang out in our ragdoll. Keep your knees soft. Let's get that wonderful lengthening the spine, full body stretch. One more breath. Exhale, bend the knees and come up all the way. Slowly reverse the blood flow back to mountain. All right. 
Let's work on our balance today. So this particular one here is called a standing pigeon or a figure four, a couple of different ways to say this one. Now this one here, I'll show you quickly and I'll give you a plan B, okay? Now, first of all, whenever you work on your balance, make sure that your mat is not too thick, all right? First of all, find a little spot on the floor to help you concentrate, stare at it. Now, the figure four or the standing pigeon. My foot is over the knee like this, all right? Hands can be out here, your hands can be right here, or if you want, you can come all the way up here. Now, if you find that's gonna be a little challenging, that particular position is gonna be an ex external rotation of the hip, it's also rotating the knee. If that's gonna be a little uncomfortable, or if you're not too sure on your balance, just get your foot off the floor. Focus on that, all right? So you always try something that works for you. Make sure the left foot is nice and anchored into the floor. Try to relax that foot. Let's see if we can do our standing pigeon pose with the right leg. Big breath. Exhale. Put your arms wherever they need to be. One more breath. Exhale, come down, back to mountain. I want you to come to the front of the mat, right at the front of the mat. Prepare for a pyramid with the right leg. Take a breath on the exhale, step back, right leg. Nice big step. Back foot's on an angle, left leg, everything is nice and straight. Alignment again, all right? I want you to rock back and forth. I want you to make sure you feel comfortable and you feel nice and anchored to the floor, all right? Hips are square, shoulders square. Let's go inhale up. Exhale, big breath. Exhale, hinging up the hips, fold over. Engage pyramid, hands are on the knee or all the way down. Ideally, the legs should be straight. If this is uncomfortable for any reason, soften your knee for your own safety and comfort. From here, we're gonna go right into reverse warrior. Take a breath. On the exhale, bend the knee, push up. Windmill, right arm, all the way onto the back of the right leg, left arm up. Finding your lunge, reverse warrior. Relax the shoulders. Perfectly balanced, strong. Warrior two from here, on the exhale, keep your lunge. Left arm to the front, right to the back, you're looking at the tips of the left finger, relax the shoulders. Breathe. From here, prepare for five star, take a breath. Exhale, straighten left leg, turn the feet, the heels to the right, five star. Preparing for sun god, this is a squat, arms stay where they are, take a breath, exhale, sun god. Keep your back straight, go as low as comfortable, really get a little fire into those thighs. Bring your arms down if your arms are getting tired, sun god. One more breath, exhale, five star, push yourself up. Preparing for pyramid with the left leg, take a breath. On the exhale, turn your feet to the left, find your lunge, or I should say straighten your leg, windmill right arm down, pyramid. On the knee, or all the way down, or half and half if you'd like. From here, prepare for downward dog, take a breath. On the exhale, come down, down dog. And table, on the exhale, knees on the floor, table. All right, perfect. Let's do a couple of cat and cows and then we're gonna go and do that all over again. 
All right, from here, make sure everything is nice and lined up. Let's go, inhale up, exhale, arch the back, chin to chest, belly button to spine. Again, up, and down. Table, all right, let's try that again. All right, so let's get ready for our little puppy. Big breath. Exhale, rock back as you slide forward, either on the forearm, forehead on the floor, or straight arms, elbows off the floor, forehead on the floor. Next exhale, child's pose. From here, prepare for our right low lunge. On the exhale, come up, take a breath, right low lunge. All right, again, check your alignment. Ankle to knee, everything is lined up. We really wanna be careful and take care of these knees. Line it up, take a second and make those adjustments. There's always time to do that so that you feel comfortable. Low lunge warrior, take a breath, exhale up. Push on that foot, come up. Breathe, perfectly balanced, relax those shoulders. Smile, breathe. Now while we're here, I want you to take the right foot and I just want you to move it up a little bit, just scooch it up a little bit. So there's a little bit of an angle from the ankle to the knee. Big breath, exhale forward. Arms are shoulder height, you're looking at the foot, the right foot. One more breath. Exhale, warrior. Now I want you to walk your foot back, just scooch it back a little bit. This is challenging your balance, being able to move your foot like this. Now let's do our side bend. Left hand on the floor beside the left knee, right arm stays up on the exhale. Everything is nice and lined up. Breathe. From here, prepare for downward dog. On the exhale, dog. Move your feet back if you need to make adjustments. Get that tail up nice and high. Let's walk the dog. Inhale, bend the right knee. Exhale as you switch. Follow the breath. From here, let's walk ourselves up to mountain. Come up nice and slow. Reverse the blood flow so you don't get dizzy. Perfect, back to mountain. Roll the shoulders out, shake it all out. Shake those legs out if you need to. Mountain, let's take a couple breaths into our mountain tatasana. Feet are nice and anchored to the floor, standing tall, being aware of your posture, breathe. Relax. Release the tension in your body, wiggle your toes, check your knees and your thighs, if they're tight, let them go. Your belly, let it go. Your buttocks, if they're tight, relax. Relax those shoulders. Starting to really focus on releasing that tension and just let it go right into the floor, out your foot chakra, right into the ground. Let's inhale up, exhale. Inhale into a back bend. One more breath. On the exhale, ragdoll, soften the knees, hinging at the hips, fold over and hang out. Keep your knees soft, come up halfway. Do you find that anytime we have our head below our hips, those are called inversions. If it makes you dizzy for, you know, high or low blood pressure or vertigo, come up halfway, make that adjustment. There's always room in everything we do to make little adjustments, you know, that you find a place that is comfortable for you. All right, so I want you to focus on the outs, Focus away from the outside world, the inner awareness of how your body feels right now, where you are, what you're doing, and your breath. On the exhale, bend the knees, come up slowly, reverse the blood flow so you don't get dizzy, and roll the shoulders out. 
All right, let's try our <coughs> standing reverse pigeon from the left side now. So the right foot, get it nice and anchored to the floor. Again, if you find that this reverse pigeon is really not gonna work for you, you know what, just focus on getting your foot off the floor. Because it's all about the strength of the toe, the foot, the ankle, and the leg, the one you're standing on. So find that focal point on the floor, stare at it, it'll help you concentrate, it'll help you focus. Get that foot nice and stuck to the floor. All right, so either get your foot just off the floor or we'll try our reverse, standing reverse pigeon. Big breath, exhale. This position is a nice rotation, external rotation of the hip as well. Now, arms to the side if that helps, or here or all the way here, make sure you're standing tall. Relax that left or that right foot. One more breath. Exhale down. Come to the front of the mat, preparing for our pyramid with the left leg. Breath, big breath. Exhale, step back, big step. Back foot's on an angle. Again, alignment. Ankle, knee, hip, foot. Hips are square, shoulders square. Let's go, inhale up. Exhale, big breath. Exhale, hinging at the hips, fold over. Engage pyramid, both hands on the knee. Head is level with your spine. Now, whenever I want you to have a straight leg, like I said earlier, if this does not feel good for you, for your knee, hip, or lower back, soften your knee. Find the place that works for you. Preparing for reverse warrior, take a breath. On the exhale, find your lunge, push yourself up, windmill. Left arm onto the back of the left leg, right arm comes all the way up. Breathe. Reverse warrior. Let's try warrior two. On the next exhale, keep your lunge. Warrior two, arms are shoulder height, You're looking at the tips of the right finger. Back is straight, shoulders are relaxed, bring those hips out a little bit just so you're not pooching your bottom out as best as you can. Nice lunge. Preparing for five star, take a breath. On the exhale, straighten right leg, turn the heels to the left, five star. Again, try to have straight legs. If this is not good for you, soften your knee a little. Don't be shy. Bring your arms down if your shoulders are tired. Keep your back straight. Let's try our sun god into our squat on the exhale. Go down as low as you can that's comfortable for you. And let's really get a lot of fire. Let's work those nice strong thighs. Back is straight. Try not to lean forward as best as you can, okay? Breathe. Five star next exhale. Now push yourself up. Use those nice strong legs. Preparing for pyramid with the right, right leg again. On the exhale, turn your feet to the right. Windmill, left arm down, pyramid. Engaged on the knee or all the way down. One more breath. From here, we're gonna get into downward dog. Exhale, dog. One more breath. Exhale, table, knees on the floor. All right. Let's prepare to get into our child's pose from here. Open up the knees a little wider. Take a breath on the exhale, lean back. Now child's pose is a resting, neutral, full body stretch. Make sure your head and your neck are supported. You can rest your forehead on your stacked fist. Rest your forehead on your block, stacked hands, or on the floor. And rest. Child's pose, balasana. Let's stay here for a few breaths to absorb the benefit of our practice so far. Rest, breathe. 
thoughtless, nowhere worries, no cares, no anxieties, just your breath. Feeling relaxed, feeling calm. For one more breath. And on the next exhale, I want you to slowly bring yourself out of your child's pose and let's get ourselves onto our backs. Come down nice and slow, as graceful as you can at this point. All the way down, right onto your back. So now we're gonna do the reverse pigeon on our back. We did the standing pigeon. Let's do it this way here. So I want you to bring the left leg up, right foot on top of the left knee. Now the left leg, you can have it straight. If you wanna bend it, you can. If you can, both hands behind the left thigh. If you can't reach, put one hand on the right knee, one behind the thigh. And on the exhale, I want you to very gently pull. Don't tug on it very gently. <clears throat> so the stretches we do at the end of the class, you do them to what your, your body needs, what feels good for you, all right? So this particular one, reverse <clears throat> pigeon, excuse me, releasing the right hip, the thigh, the buttock, the pelvic floor muscles, even into the lower back. This is a really good stretch to release that uh, tight sciatic nerve as well. When you're ready, let's go to the other side. Take a big breath. <coughs> Pardon me. On the exhale, switch. Same thing. You can put one hand on the knee and one behind the thigh, or both behind. <clears throat> maybe one side of your body needs a deeper stretch than the other. You know, make that little adjustment as you go along, but keep your breath going. One more. Really, really release that lovely hip. Stretch it out. On the exhale, let's give ourselves a big hug. On the big hug, the rock from side to side. Rock and breathe. Just rock. And let's lengthen that spine. Release the spine, really giving yourself a beautiful back massage. Give your back exactly what it needs. Relax the shoulders. Close your eyes and just breathe. Little circles to the left. Releasing the lower back. And when you're ready, you can go to the other side, to the right, roll. <clears throat> Little circles. Feels so good. Soles of the feet onto the floor. Let's do a nice twist pose. I want you to straighten the left leg. Right foot on top of the left knee very gently. Bring up the left hand on top of the right knee. Right arm stretch it out, shoulder height, preparing for supine twist pose. On the exhale, look over the right shoulder as you gently press on the right knee to the left. Pay attention to how the left leg feels. It's nice and relaxed. You should be able to wiggle your toes. The foot, the right foot's resting gently on the knee. There's no pressure on that knee. This is for the spine, but you get a bonus stretch into your hip area. So if you want to go deeper, you can press a little more or less. Find that place that feels just right. Now in this particular position here, if you want to go a little deeper, a deeper stretch, I'll show you one. You, you don't have to do it. You can put the right foot on the floor on the outside of the knee and bend the left knee. The right foot's on the floor and the arms can both come out shoulder height. So this would be a little bit of a deeper stretch called the twisted branch. On the exhale, release, untangle those legs. All right, let's see the other side. Straighten the right leg, left foot on top of the right knee, right hand on the left knee, left arm, stretch it out. Take your breath and on the exhale, as you look over the left shoulder, gently pressing on the left knee. So this is again our supine twist pose, all about the spine. You get the extra bonus stretch into the left hip area. If you wanna stay here, that's fine. If you wanna try the other, the, uh, the deeper stretch, you can, you don't have to. So the left foot on the floor, on the outside of the right knee, so your body will turn a little bit, arms stretched out. Twisted branch is what this one's called. A little bit of deeper twist. One more breath. Exhale, untangle yourself. All right, I want you to straighten your legs now. Inhale, arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, let them fall over your head. And now I want you just to stretch your body out. Fingertips to the tips of your toes. Make yourself nice and long. 
It's important for relaxation, you have tension for your body and tension for your mind. All that energy is flowing energy, which is our life force. Let your body sink into the ground. Feeling calm. Find that little place of serenity maybe on your mat. Breath is flowing. For one more. On the next exhale, slowly bring your hands to the side of your body. Palms facing the ceiling. Hands are open to receive guidance from your higher self. And let's prepare for our closing, Savasana, meditation, relaxation, reflection time. However you choose to bring this into your practice today, resting comfortably in your corpse pose. At this point, if you want to bend your knees for comfort, if you want to lay on your side, uh, some people like to have a little pillow or maybe a blanket, uh, find a place on your mat where you can just completely relax and rest in your corpse pose. And now that we are resting in Savasana relaxation pose, let's take a minute to thank ourselves for our practice today. Let's take a moment to scan our body and our mind for any remaining tension. And let's let compassion melt away that tension into our mats. As you leave your mat today with the promise to yourself not to view pleasure as a luxury and to also commit to making time for little pleasures in life. We can, we can recognize the need for pleasure when we feel irritable and tense. Let's remember that our life simply will not work as well if we deny ourselves pleasure. The old saying of all work and no play makes us dull is quite true. We may find ourselves living a rather colorless life if we do not now and then indulge our senses in pleasure. Let's take some time to embrace the silence in the room and in our minds. Let's go find that place within ourselves that speaks to us, where the stillness holds the proper questions and all of our answers our truth and our identity. And let's close our session today with our own personal reflection of the serenity prayer that encourages us to accept the things we cannot change, to seek the courage to change the things that we can, and to find the wisdom to know the difference. Satnam. Let your mind, your body, and your soul absorb the vibrations of the bells, bringing your own energies to its appropriate frequency. Slowly bring yourself back into your space, back into the room. Bring life back to your body, wiggle your fingers and toes. And when you're ready, very slowly and very gently bring yourself back up to our cross-legged Sukhasana position or any seated position at this point that's comfortable for you. Take your time. I know it's hard to get off the mat. Comfortable on your sit bones. Back is nice and straight. Shoulders are relaxed. Let's bring our hands together. Let's rub them vigorously to activate our hand chakra. Hands on to your heart center. Close your eyes. Let's take a nice, long, smooth breath together to tune in. Inhale. Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Satna. Shanti, Shanti, peace, peace, may love and light be with you always. Namaste. All right, all done. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I sure feel good. All right, so it's absolutely my pleasure to do this for you. And um, trying to keep up with it once a week. I got the chair yoga, the Pilates on the mat this week. Uh, those are both half hour, 30 minute classes in the yoga. All right, the half of yoga. So like I said, I've got two parts going. You can choose one or the other or both, whatever, uh, whatever time you have or whatever you feel like doing. All right, and my name is Susan, and thank you so much for joining me today. And, uh, you know, if the weather's nice where you are, go out and enjoy the weather. Get some sun on your face and get some fresh air. All right, and uh, hopefully we'll be back to our whatever normal is soon. All right, if not, just come and see me here. All right, thanks again. Take care of yourself and smile. All right, and we'll see you again soon.